time. Okay, are we on? Are we on? Are we on? Are we on? So let me try and then speak to Coach Ebenezer Sefa. Coach, good morning. Good morning. I hope you are fine. I'm blessed. Okay, we thank God. So, Coach, I mean, this morning, I want us to talk about the Black Allies of Ghana. We beat Sudan by three goals to one. But first, before that game, we had lost our first game against Madagascar. Was that a sort of reaction that you were expecting from the players that you saw against Sudan? Can I come, can I come again, please? Hello, Coach. Um, I'm hearing you, but at the last, I didn't hear you. So I'll say come back again. Okay. Uh, can you repeat the question? Okay, so I was saying that, I mean, we beat Sudan by three goals to one last Thursday in the champ tournament. But before that game, we had lost our first game to Madagascar. Was that the sort of reaction that you saw or you were expecting from the team in that game against Sudan? I would say yes and no. Yes, one, because of the scoreline, because I wanted us to win. Okay. Which we won. And two, the, the, the upgrade of the performance. Um, it is something that uh, is not what I was expecting anyway, but on the whole, it was better than the first game. Okay, so it was better in terms of which department, the attack, the defense, the goalkeeping, or... One, it was better player selection. Two, tactical changes. Three, performance of players. Oh, great, great. But some people are complaining about the performance of Kofi Koji, especially in that particular game. I don't know what you say anyway. What can you share with us based on his performance? Well, to be honest with you, Kofi, Kofi Koji that I know, yes, in as much that um, I also feel he didn't live up to expectation. Though I, I, was, I was in the coach on the touch line. I, I felt that um, Kofi Koji was given a specific role because of his stature, because of his height and his strength. He was asked to stay on top so that he can hold on possession, hold on play, so that the offensive players like uh, Sylvester Simba of Jim Stempsey, David Abagan of RTU, anytime they come forward, so he can release for them. Mm. And also try to take their defense away and create space for them, especially their captain, which I think he started doing it in the middle of the second half, that was somewhere to defeat to the 30th minute. That was where he started doing it, mm. holding on and then taking the defenders away. But from the first 45 minutes, he was awful. But I think that the coach, the, the technical team also knew um, what time to take him off and what they were expecting of him. Because I'm sure when they went to the dressing room for the first half, he was, he was spoken to. And that was the reason why he changed a little bit in the second half. But for me, I think I have to agree with the people. Mm -hmm. Kofi that I know, I mean, the, the performance wasn't what I was mm -hmm. expecting. Okay. So, I mean, you have seen the Galaxies against Madagascar. We lost that game against so that we beat them. Where are you expecting them to reach in this tournament, based on the performance that we have seen in the champ this year? Seriously, I am a Ghanaian. I want them to win the trophy. Okay. Since 2014, we've not been able to qualify. They will qualify, and I, I, and I don't expect the team to win. I expect them to win. Mm. In as much we didn't do well in our first game, based on player selection and the part of that we play, but then there was a little bit of variation and changes in the second game against Sudan. And we also also understand that Sudan is a very solid team. Okay. In as much they have about three or four of their senior national team players that play Ghana that were in the squad. But you cannot compare Ghana in terms of the, the, the domestic league to Sudanese league because there are a lot of foreigners out there. People do not understand why our league probably is going down because it is foreigners that make league strong. Hey. Yes. Go to the EPL. So, so coach, wait, oh, the Sudan League is better than that of the Ghana Premier League? No, what I'm, I'm saying is that if I say it is better, not in terms of... Um, players okay in terms of um, uh, facilities in, in in terms of structures okay in terms of monetary uh, payment mm -hmm. you understand my point okay because sudan can pay ten thousand dollars can ghana a club a club can a club pay a player three thousand four thousand dollars hmm. no and i'm saying that the foreigners also contribute to the success of a, of a league remember 1990 go first then they have in, in, in Bombay, a number one goalkeeper they have Kony from Ivory Coast. They have Baratem Aten from um, Cameroon. Hmm. Comprises of the, the, the then national team players like Hike Akono, Yawa Champon, Ebenezer Hagan, I get to info. And based on that, those players have also played in the league for how many years? Look at the 2000 House of Folks setup. How many years did they play under Joseph Tukwe Fiu? Yeah. But today, what, what do you see? A player from Division 2 gets into House of Folks or Kotoko, the next season, he's gone. Yeah. And how many foreigners do we have in the league? In, let's assume in Bella or Fabio Gama has still stayed in the Ghana league. What do you think other team will have been? Very strong. Ibrahim Imuru, if their salary has been increased, 
probably to say four thousand dollars. Do you think they'll, they'll be moving to Sudan? I don't think so. When you go to the EPL, go and check how many foreigners and the quality that they brought. To, that is what people talk about the EPL. Go to the Italian Serie A. Let's come to Africa. Go to South Africa and go and see how many foreigners are playing there. Go to Zambia. Go to Algeria. Go to Egypt and go and check how many Ghanaian players from our league are playing in the Egyptian league. Apart from Ghana, how many Congolese are playing in the, Nigeria, uh, the Egyptian league? How many Nigerians are playing in the... And how, many, how much money are, being, are they being paid? Hmm. So the quality, of course, the league depends also on foreigners that you bring on board. When Kotoko were having Frank Achu, you remember, Clovis yeah. Kambu, do you remember? Yeah. Yes, and then Hans of were having... Let, 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 let me just go, just listen. Rani Oboka, you know, when he was playing for Hans he was still playing for the smash team. Quality Bongo. player, yeah. When we have Joseph Oche and he was playing for the national team, that is Kotoko. You understand? Salam Abdullah. So, in today, what do we see? How many foreigners do you have? When you go to Swatman, you have one from Burkina Faso. I don't think even the Burkina Bays themselves know him. When you go to Altu, they have a goalkeeper from Cameroon. I don't think the people of Cameroon even know him. When you come to Kotoko, yes, you have Stephen Makola who is trying to, and I'm sure if he can stay for two years, you will see a different Stephen Makola, but I'm not sure Kotoko will let him stay because they will sell. Hmm. So, 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 so now, then, so, Coach, I, I, I know you are a Ghanaian and you expect the team to win the trophy. But yes. I asked you that question based on the performance that you have seen. I mean, yes. you have seen the opponents as well in this year's Chan tournament. Yes. I mean, realistically, where can we reach based on the performance that we have seen? Me, realistically, we'll be in the finals. Do you know why? I'm not, I'm not saying because I'm a Ghanaian. Okay. Because there was an improvement over the first game that we played. Okay. And I'm sure Anoka and the second card need to work on our defense. In mm. as much as these are the players that we have in, 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 in Algeria, to me, these are not the best players in Ghana that we took to Algeria. Because if you ask me to pick 23 players, I'll pick some players ahead of those, some of those players that are in Algeria. If I ask you to do the same, you do the same. Mm. Because I believe that a player like Richmond Lamke, Richard Bodu Agada, should be in the squad. Likewise, somebody also feels that there's a player like um, um, Ibrahim Salifi should be part of the squad. Hmm. So for me, I, I, I mean, I feel Meshach of Brooklyn Chelsea. Someone yeah. also thinks that he should be in the squad. So the notion that we have our best players from the local team that is representing us, no, I don't agree. But the point is that there was an improvement in, on the, from the first game. Let's see the offensive play. We play two pivots in the first game. This time we play only in Sovila. Mm. Saw the performance of David Abagna. Yeah. I mean, this is the first major game for Sylvester Simba, who played for Dream Safety. How many people knew him? They got to know him when under 23. The Metros played Mozambique in Kumase. Yeah. That was why people saw him. And this is his major assignment. In, look at Kotoko's Augustin in Japan. Fantastic player. Even, even in Kotoko, how many matches does he get the opportunity to play because of Christopher Netti? But look at his the young boys. And that like, Karim Zito was under 20. He was not given the opportunity to play. Or probably somebody like Fidelman Bafo was playing ahead of him. Mm. Today, look at him today. Look at the first game. He came on. And look at the second game performance. And what do you think he's going to do in the third game? If we are, we, are, we, are, we are there. Yes, in as much as that I believe that Kofi Kodi didn't perform, there were other strikers that were also on the bench. I mean, Augustine Boate from Kotoku, how so many people know him? But if you follow the Ghana Premier League, you know that, yes, that guy can also do something. We have Henry Ensu of Bukum Chelsea. In the, in the team, Anoka normally use him as a pivot. So for me, I believe that it is about how the coaches also read the opponent okay. and also plan the game. Hmm. Okay. Fortunately for us, Glacia Aoku is fit in the next game, probably is going to play. As like you see, for Olympics, it's okay. Who missed the second game are also free to play. So the coaches are have a pool of players to select from. But I believe that it should be a tactical game that we should play probably in our next game. And our technical bank, I'm talking about the assistant coaches, should be able to read the game every game in quarters. First 15 minutes, second 15 minutes, and the last 15 minutes. So the moment you read the opponent, you communicate to the head coach who is on the touchline. And at the end of the day, I believe in the uh, uh, individual attributes of our players. And of course, when we communicate match after match, I'm sure the boys will do it. Okay. I have full of confidence. Because yes, the last game that we played against Sudan, I was on TV and on radio. They say, man, in the kind, I believe we'll beat them. Wow. And people are saying that, oh, a, a Ghana, you three, you also you three, you no, we no. were able to hit the crossbar, we were able to hit the post twice. They, 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 they will put the ball at the back of our, our net, which was disallowed. We also scored, which was disallowed. Yeah. We had one on one with the goalkeeper. They had the same, but we took chances. Four shots on target, which is about eight shots that we took. They took only four. So, statistically, and the, all the department, in as much that they play a wing play, in the first half, they were able to expose David's quarter. But in the second half, they couldn't. Hmm. It tells you that they read the game and 
probably they did. I mean, in every game that you played, there may be one or two glorious opportunities. Look at how Fred Banyan messed that one. after the second goal. He messed that one on one with the goalkeeper. Jonah took away decision to pass quick was a problem. And I'm sure that the technical team will go okay. through all these things and okay. they work towards it. And, and I still have confidence. Okay, so coach, I, I don't follow the Premier League. Well, I know you are confident, but speaking of Afri Bani, I mean, your boy, I mean, some Ghanaians are saying that, I mean, he has been disappointing so far in the tournament. I don't know. I don't know whether you share similar view anyway. I agree with them. I agree with them in the sense that what is Afri Bani playing for? Is he playing to seek for a contract outside the shots of this country. He has already signed for S. Missouri. Yeah. He's now a professional player. Yeah, but his contract has to, has to put ends on the fourth, at the end of the tournament. And at the end of the tournament, the field manager is no more a, a high school player. Yeah. He has signed his contract. He has done his medical. He went to the World Cup. So what is he playing for? What is the motivation for field manager? So I believe that he, he really wants to make an impact in this particular tournament. Then he should make a name for himself that one a field manager 2023 in the champ tournament that was held in Algeria contributed for Ghana to win the trophy. So, so, so for you, Afri Ebani is not motivated for this tournament. No, I'm asking a simple question: Is he motivated? Afri Ebani has already signed for FC Zuri. Yeah, that's true. And is he playing to get injured? Is he playing to 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 to, to entertain or what? So, so does and it mean that you and I, we most should... of these players are there thinking that after this tournament they should be able to get a, 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 an offer? I know. So does it mean that so, coach? So if a Bane has already sent, signed a contract with FC Zurich, and we know a Bane how he plays, and look at the output in the first game, he was just running all over, absolutely zero. Yes, in as much that a Bane normally scores from the sports kick, which I also admire because it's not every player that can score from the sports kick. But I believe that when he was given the role from the left side of attack, he contributed better than what he did in the first game. Unfortunately, he just had a record. So we need to, we need to put a field behind us in our next game. That is if we are there. Hmm. So, so coach, m- maybe we should not have taken him to the tournament. No. No. You see, sometimes, before he went to sign for FC, FC Zurich, you and I <laughs> were aware that he has not renewed his contract with Antifo. Yeah. Like Bright again. He himself called an orca and told him, coach, I cannot go because my contract runs out on the 12th of January. The tournament starts on the 13th. Adriana has not approached me that again to renew my contract. So even if I stay in camp and my contract runs out on the 12th, I cannot play in that competition. And moreover, I have an offer from Tanzania that I have to go. Even so also from Tamayu. You see, I have an offer from France that I have to go. Hmm. Good. <laughs> we have to leave it here. Thank you very much for coming through this morning. You uh, what could you <laughs> That was Ghana's chief scout, Ebenezer Sefa, speaking to us on telephone on the Black Galaxies. He touched on the performance of Kofi Koji and how Free Ebani has fared so far in the tournament and the team's improvements um, as a whole against. Um, um, Sudan in Constantine last Thursday. But before you come through, I need to 